G'day, this is Bruce and uh, welcome back to my shop and uh, we're <coughs> in the second stage of putting together or uh, refurbishing the, uh, the old mill, uh, the um, <coughs> Bridgeport mill. I've cleaned everything up, we've got re received today, all, this morning I got all the bearings uh, and we're starting uh, with the top section which is the brake and clutch unit. Uh, and that's that's from the the parts book, the clutch and brake. And uh, I identified this particular bearing number as being a six two zero seven V. And I've got both of those. They're the only bearings. Well, these are, these are the old ones. The new ones. They're the they're the bearings uh, that uh, are not sealed. All the other bearings are sealed. So so what we have here is the um, uh, is the cogged, the cogged uh, belt unit and the bearings and everything else. Now, I've put that together and uh, I've put that together and it's got in there as a loose piece. What we have here is the two bearings with two spaces between them and then the locking nut on top. Now, whilst I was um, uh, going through this and pulling it apart, uh, first of all, Inside, inside here, um, that's the brake unit. That's where the brake, and that that locks into the pulley, so the pulley fits in there. And turns around, and then push the brake handle, and it's completely locked. So that's. <coughs> I've in, I've inspected that the fibre, and it's, it's fine. Uh, otherwise I would have to make a new one. In here we have four holes and th they're the four holes for the springs that come in as a... I'll just, um, I'll just grab that for a second. Sorry about that, that was a war office. Um, yeah, so those four springs are pressing against, and against here, and they, they actually actuate uh, the clutch arrangement as it comes in against there. So they, they, push, they push in there, that becomes the pressure drive. Um, and when, it's, when this is raised, it releases off that pulley. Um, so I put those in and we need to put the shaft in to make sure that the, those uh, bushes are in the, in the right spot. Um, and then we'll be able to close up, we'll be able to close the nut up afterwards uh, to suit that. Now the other thing I noticed here, uh, this has the two, two screws that have obviously had a problem in the past. So, they've, so they've, put a, they've done a new one here. And these are the little, these are the little pins that uh, that sit inside here and uh, when it's turned the other way around and they allow they allow the bearing unit to go up and down now when I um, when I went to pull all this apart everything was seized up the whole lot um, so I had to uh, clean clean everything up get all the rust out get it all together um, and I've now cleaned everything and it all slides up and down nicely um, so what we'll do is we'll introduce the, uh, the gear into there um, and that needs to go, uh, that the shaft needs to go in through here um, but we have to have the pulley on first. So this may be an issue for us. So what we'll do is we'll assemble, we'll assemble it with the springs first, put the four springs in there. The four springs will go in there and then we'll introduce this down there. Okay, so we've now got that inside ready to work. 
Now that's good. Um, and this end, this end of the shaft is where the pulley goes on. The pulley, pulley will go on here. The shaft will come through. And um, sorry, I'm asked about it here. The um, it's going to come through this way. So we have to we have to introduce the pulley on there in order to um, to be able to make sure that those bushes in the way. But you'll you'll bear with me because um, I'm uh, uh, what's that? I've never done this before, so we're, it's a learning curve. But what we have found is it's all beautifully machined, all fits nicely. No need for, for, for heavy duty presses or anything like that. Now that will be able to, we'll introduce that down inside. And just move that bush around till we know that's going to be fitting okay. We saw yesterday that all of this mechanism went together quite well. Everything's in place there. So we should be able to lock that lock that through without too much effort. We don't want to lose those springs in there either. It's because we're against the springs I think is part of the issue. coming through. I believe we're now in place and that's how this whole unit comes backwards and forwards and springs in. So we can now turn this around and engage those, um, those threads. Now we've got a good lot and we've got a bad lot here and hopefully that's the good lot so we'll engage that Got that one. Let's do the other one. Should slide in there without too much trouble. Okay, so we've got that mechanism in, and there we've got the clutching arrangement working. Now, what I did notice also. Is there's two tiny little grub screws here uh, that lock these two fellas in place. There you see there, two little grub screws. Under all the grease and dirt, we didn't notice that. Um, but uh, we've, got us, we've got us number now. So they just need to be uh, tightened up a little bit. Just enough to hold it in place. Might be the next size up. Oh, we'll put we'll, we'll put some attention to that later. Um, these modern uh, Allen keys are not all that accurate. Okay, so we've got that retention. We've got all that going. We can uh, we can lock up the pressure on the bearing, and we can also uh, put the nut on here, that which will hold the shaft as well. Um, so that should allow us then to have all this in place. Um, as I said yesterday, we we don't have we don't have 
don't have this, this spanner. And this is putting pressure and locking the two bearings together uh, with their um, uh, the two bearings into the housing arrangement there. So there we have it. And we'll just give it a bit more for I'm happy with that. Um, we'll now fit the secondary one down. And this will lock, now lock the shaft into place. Let's make sure that's good. Do the same trick that we did yesterday. Uh, of course it wants to turn. Not having the real spanners here is, uh, is a pain, but then again, maybe, maybe we'll have one here for one of our machines that might work. Not very doubtful. Just too small, so any anything any port in the storm as they say. It's not the way it should be done, but this is the way I'm doing it for, so we can show you how we're advancing here. I will, I will go and buy a one to finish this job off.